Okay, uh, here in the country I was born in, we use a 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps. Black is live, red is live, blue is live, white is neutral, bare or green is the ground. However, white may be found live in a switch loop or a 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. So we have a... Uh, 20 amp outlet we have to put in. This is for uh, uh, a deep fryer. It's a 240 volt and it'll be on this 20 amp circuit. Okay, so first we'll get our uh, wire stripped here. On your strippers, you'll see the wire size holes. And I'll move this light to just give me a glare. Okay, we'll strip our, we'll cut our wires back a little bit here. They're a little long. Well, that light, I don't like how it's giving me this glare. Right over here. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay, so we'll strip with our number 12 hole. We'll strip our black, which is live. We take off about an inch so we get our wires all the way around the screws. Now we got to get a ground wire on that green screw up here. We have to make a score here and uh, here. That'll be just about the right place to get our green screw in up there. We'll take our knife and we'll shave our loop between where we scored the wire. This is our green screw that goes in our threaded hole. Back of the box, we bond our box to the uh, ground. We'll get our ground wire. We'll make our loop so our insulation is even at the bottom of our loop, like that here. And we'll put it in the back there. loop one up a little bit, so I'm going to move it some. There it is. We'll close it the way we want it there. Okay, so we have our green, which is the ground, our black, which is 120 volts live, and our red, which is 120 volts live. This is our device we're using. It's made by uh, Leviton. And you'll see it has a Green screw, which is the ground, brass, which is live, brass, which is live since it's a 240 volt outlet. And it says 20 amps, 250 volts here. I wonder if you can see that. 
So now we'll hook our wires up. It doesn't matter which one you put the red or black on. So we'll, hook, we'll put our black on one side here and make our loop the direction our screw turn. So we'll put it around our screw. Close it the way our screw turns. Just nice and tight. Move it around. We'll put our thread on our other wire screw here. You always make your loops the direction your screw turns. So it looks like that. Make sure we don't get our insulation cut under the screw head. And we'll bring it up. We'll get our red and blacks to bring like this. And now we'll put our green wire around our ground screw here. Strip it. Make our loop the direction our screw turns. forward on our device so that our wire stays under the screw head all the way around. I'll make sure it's nice and tight. And now I'll bring the camera up close so you can see what it looks like inside here. Okay, so now we can push our device into our box the way we want it. Make sure they're going in. We get our wires to go into our box like this. With my hand so I don't flip the holes out. Okay, so now we'll go flip our circuit breaker on and we'll get our meter and check it out. This double pole 20 amp breaker is the breaker that turns it on. So we'll turn it on over here and we'll take our meter and we will verify that we have 240 volts. Okay, 
All righty, we have our cobalt meter to verify we have 240 volts here. We will select over here we have uh, ohms. We have 500 volts and we have 250. We can put it on 250 because we know the voltage is going to be 240. So what we're going to do, we have it set to where we got to uh, for measuring 240 volts. So I'll take I will put one probe here on the ground. Also probe here. Okay, so I have 120 here. I have 120 here. Now if I take this and go here and here, I have 240. 40 volts, just slightly over 240, like 242. Okay. So that is how the, and I will show you the difference between a single pole breaker and a double pole breaker for your 120 volt and your 240 volts. All righty, so uh, this is a, uh, double pole breaker that gives you 240 volts. You can see it takes uh, two wires. You get your 240 between the 220 volt legs coming into the building. Each leg is 120 volts phase to neutral. And this is a uh, single pole breaker. It only has one terminal. And it gives you 120 volts phase to neutral. Peace. Thanks for watching.